you were canceled in 2018, is that right? I think it was then, yeah. And yeah, it was. Yeah. You talk about how you're you talk to other comics who have also been canceled. Yeah. And y'all have a pact with each other to say we're going to be even more offensive when we come back. Yeah. Why yeah. is that? What do you, well, because what is your we plan? have to be more offensive when we come back because we can't be beaten down. We can't let them kill comedy. We can't let, you know, these people who are censors and book burners have the last say over comedy. We have to protect comedy. It's the last free speech art form. You just heard from canceled comedian Roseanne Barr, and she's remaining defiant. She is refusing to allow the wokists to continue to cancel her and keep her in purgatory. And she's back with a brand new comedy special titled, wait for it, Cancel This. I just love it so much. Very original, very, very creative. I'm really happy to see her back. Good on you, Roseanne Barr. Now, um, like many canceled comedians, she's kind of forced to carve out this lane where she presents herself as the main antagonist towards woke culture. But if you'll remember, she wasn't actually canceled by the leftist mob. She was canceled by executives who chose to cancel the reboot of her television show, Roseanne, after she made a racist tweet about a former Obama administration official, Valerie Jarrett. Now, if you'll remember, she ended up blaming that racist tweet on Ambien, and it led to what I think is literally the funniest thing that Roseanne Barr has ever said. But I don't know if she was actually trying to be funny here, but either way, this was the explanation, another explanation as to why she uh, made that tweet. I thought the bitch was white! God damn it! I thought the bitch was white! <laughs> Still a banger in 2023. Now, she's done being canceled. So she has a brand new comedy special, as I mentioned, and it's being published by um, Fox Nation. Not Comedy Central, not Netflix, but Fox Nation, because they're publishing comedy specials of canceled comedians now. Now, in her special, predictably, she goes after cancel culture. But like many anti-woke comedians, that really just means that she's going after trans people. Because, you know, if you're this canceled comedian and you're taking on the woke industrial complex, you go after the individuals with real power when you're speaking truth to power and you attack trans people because that's the way you can, uh, I guess, stick it to the woke people. The problem is that there's not a lot of creativity in the realm of anti-trans jokes on the right. And... The left has made fun of the right for having just one joke when it comes to trans people, and that has historically been the uh, Apache attack helicopter joke, right? They say, well, if you can identify as a woman, can I identify as an Apache attack helicopter? And then there were various, uh, or variations, I should say, of that. But now there's a new one joke that conservatives have, and Roseanne Barr is, of course, going to trot that out, the pronouns joke. The problem is that it sounds eerily familiar, and it's because, mm, she took it from someone, a fellow comedian. But before I tell you who, let's watch her stand-up special because this is a, a glorious clip here shared by Benny Johnson on Twitter. No concept of reality. They've been living in a bubble forever. Asking questions have nothing to do with the real world. What is my gender, mom? What is my gender? Your gender is get a job. That's your gender. <laughs> What are they thinking? Ask, what is a woman? They don't know that. That one they're asking all the time. What is a woman? I'll tell you what a woman is. A woman is me. That's what a woman is, okay? A woman is someone who cleans up everybody else's shit. That's what a woman is. A woman is somebody whose boobs hang down to her knees with a prolapsed uterus from giving birth to five ungrateful little privileged <laughs> never had to work for anything in their whole damn life. <laughs> my pronouns are kiss my <laughs> I've got to admit that that clip actually did make me laugh, but not because her jokes were funny. It's funny to think that she thinks that those jokes are funny, and that thought made me laugh. I just, do they really believe that they're being subversive and edgy with these jokes? Every single anti-woke comedian trots out the same jokes, and 
they think that they're like brave. I just, I, I don't get it. So let's get to some of these specifics here. So I love how she combined transphobia with conservative economic politics saying, get a job, that's your gender. But um, that one was just a banger. Probably took her days to come up with it. Um, And probably my favorite part, besides the last joke, which we'll get to, which she plagiarized, by the way, was uh, what is a woman? They don't know that. That one they're asking all the time, what is a woman? As if we're, we're so stupid because we don't know what a woman is. When, honey, you're the ones who are asking that question. You're citing the name of a documentary by prolific transphobe Matt Walsh titled What is a Woman? So conservatives unironically ask what's a woman, and she claims that the left is asking what is a woman. I don't think that it's trans people and their allies who are confused about what a woman is or isn't. I think that your side is the one uh, that's confused here. And she also says a woman is someone who cleans up everybody else's shit. Okay, well, by that definition, I could be a woman. Like, we're actually expanding the definition of what is a woman here if we're going by your characterization. So this is actually technically a woke comedy. Now, the best part, of course, was uh, my pronouns are kiss my ass. So that's the new one joke that conservatives have and variations of it. My pronouns are, hmm, I don't like woke. My pronouns are... um. These nuts. I'm sure a comedian is going to come up with that at some point if they haven't already. But the reason why that stood out to me is because, as Twitter user Chests pointed out, it sounds very familiar because it was used recently on multiple occasions by another comedian, Ted Cruz. Let's watch. Well, my name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. Well, I'm Ted Cruz, and my pronoun is kiss my ass. Me, I'm Ted Cruz, me. Aren't I so likable? Me. So let's just pause for a moment and reflect on the circumstances here. Canceled comedian Roseanne Barr makes a triumphant return, defiant, refuses to back down, and in her very first comedy special, she plagiarizes Ted Cruz. Thus leading again, potentially, to another cancellation, because I don't know if you all remember this, but Carlos Mencia is a comedian who was canceled by Joe Rogan, of all people, because he plagiarized the joke from Bill Cosby. So maybe she's taking on the wokists and she doesn't want them to cancel her, but is anyone gonna call her out for just blatantly plagiarizing Ted Cruz, Joe Rogan? Now look, to be fair to Roseanne, I don't think that she actually stole that joke from Ted Cruz. I think that the problem is that there's a fundamental lack of originality for right-wing comedians and they end up inadvertently plagiarizing each other because they have the same talking points and the same jokes because their transphobia is corny and old and they don't know what else to say. So they resort to the same, oh, well, if you identify as blank, can I identify as blank? Or, oh, your pronouns are this, my pronouns are that. And so when you end up saying that, odds are you're gonna end up repeating what somebody else has already said. Hence the problem with no originality now. But either way, she should have at least maybe done a little bit of research because, yeah, you use the joke that was already cited multiple times by Ted Cruz. He has a copyright, not literally, but a copyright on my pronouns are kiss my ass. So Roseanne Barr could have said, you know, um, something else. She could have been the one to coin the my pronouns are D's nuts thing. But instead, she chose to go with kiss my ass, which was already taken. But... The question of plagiarizing, it still hangs high. And, you know, if she isn't going to be canceled for going after the woke crowd, then maybe comedians might want to cancel her for going after other comedians' jokes. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. bitches, bitches. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.